students today we will talk about the concept of flowers everybody knows about the flowers that they are the reproductive part of the plant they can be bisexual or unisexual if i just talk about unisexual many students get confused that how it is possible of a plant which is unisexual to get the fruits for this i have this plant can you identify this plant yes rightly said it is papaya i have two sets of papaya in my garden one set is this long one can you see this i'll show you from inside yes and can you see the small flowers here it has small flowers okay the other plant is this one it also have a flower but here it has fruit somebody recommended me that why have you occupied this plant in your garden while you have the other one which have fruits and this plant is becoming taller but it is not giving any fruit can you guess why for this the concept of unisexual flowers should be very clear here it's important to know that this flower only contains male reproductive part that is called as androecium while the other plant having or bearing the fruit has only gynoecium or female reproductive part now can you guess why i don't want to remove this tall plant from my garden rightly said the butterflies the bees and many other insects help in pollinating these flowers and carry the pollen from this plant to the female one this is the live example of unisexual flower once this flower is been pollinated the fertilization happens and after fertilization the ovary turns into the fruit and the ova turns into the seeds while if i talk about in bisexual flowers bisexual flowers will have both the things together like this rose this rose have male reproductive part and female reproductive part on the same flower this is female reproductive part that is gynoecium or ovary while this is androecium or male reproductive part which is commonly called as anther on which pollens are stick so i hope now the concept of bisexual flowers and unisexual flowers is clear and now you can easily differentiate between the two and enhance this concept by dissecting few flowers this is a unisexual flower of papaya when we cut open it we observe that oh there is no ovary it has only male reproductive part which is called as androecium that means this is a unisexual flower but when we take other flower of papaya and cut open it carefully 
we can see only the female reproductive part so beautiful which is also called as gynoecium or pistil when we compare it with the first flower it becomes so clear that these two flowers are unisexual flowers but when we take the flower of a pomegranate we can see both endosium and gynoecium clearly this proves that this flower is a bisexual flower 